Use Euler's method to approximate values of this differential equation, dy dx equals x plus y, given the initial value y of 0 equals 1, or in other words, x is 0 and y is 1, that is the starting value, and we are also given step size h equal to 0 0.1. So as always, to start approximating values, we need to have iterative variable n, x of n, and y of n to correspond with n. And we are going to make a little table for all these values. And the problem states that we go to 0 0.5. So we start off with 0 for n and go do essentially 5 iterations. So we know that x of n plus 1 equals x of n, the previous value, plus h. That's it. So x of n starts off, obviously, when n is 0, 0, since that's our initial value, and y of 0 is also 1. So using the plus h in the equation, we can do 0 plus h, which is 0 0.1. So 0 plus 0 0.1 is 0 0.1. Now for x of 2, that equals x of 1 plus h, which is 0 0.1 plus 0 0.1, which equals 0 0.2 and so on and so forth, where x of 3 now equals x of 2 plus 0 0.1, which is 0 0.2 plus 0 0.1, or 0 0.3, 0 0.4, and 0 0.5. For y, the formula is y of n plus 1 equals the previous value y of n plus the step size h times f prime of x of n comma y of n, or in other words, the previous value of dy dx. So we can do y of 1, where it equals y of 0, or 1, plus step size 0 0.1 h, times f prime of x of 0 comma y of 0. Since that's the exact same thing as dy dx, all we have to do is plug in 0 for x and 1 for y, or 0 plus 1. 1 plus 0 0.1 times 1 is 1 plus 0 0.1 which equals 1.1. So that is our value for y of 2. Moving on, we now take y of 2, which equals y of 1, which we found to be 1.1, plus the same h as before, but this time now we're using x of 1 and y of 1. x of 1 in this case is 0 0.1, so you can always just draw these diagonally to see which variable it will apply to next and then plus the new value of y, which was 1.1. Putting this in the calculator, you get 1.22. Now we take the old value of y once more, plus 0 0.1 as usual, but this time we're taking x of 2, which is 0 0.2, plus what we just found to be y, 1.22, and this will give you 1.362. We only have to do this two more times. So now y of 4 equals y of 3, 1.362, plus h, times x of 3, 0 0.3, plus y of 3, following the x plus y formula, 1.362. This will give you 1.5282. Try going to about three or four decimals. So now y of 5 equals y of 4, 1.5282, plus h, times 0 0.4, which was x of 4, plus 1.5282. And this will give you your final y value at y of 0 0.5, or just y of 5, equal to 1.7210. These are all the values you can approximate with Euler's function with these given parameters. It's very good for approximating values of ordinary differential equations, so it definitely has applications in programming. If you have any questions about this approach or how I did this, please leave a comment below, and good luck.